What if we bought an RV park? <laughs> Who wants to co-sign for a $1.6 <laughs> million dollar loan? We don't have that kind of money though. Oh, I'm so sorry, honey. I just sorry. We have no idea what to do at this point. Hey, I have the best news ever. Better RV park. It checks all the boxes. We got the RV park! <laughs> Okay, before we give you a full tour of the RV park, we want to show you why we got one in this area. We have the mountains! We got trees! We've got waterfalls! We've got grass! We got cute kids! The Snake River! Square ice cream! National Forest! And this! Park. These are two trees. We own Whoa. these trees. Wait, I, I honestly did not realize this. What? Look at this. Oh my gosh. Did you know it's an apple no. tree? No. Amy. Look. There's, there's apples. apples growing on the tree. Do you think we can eat it? Yeah. Oh my goodness. I don't want to pick it off, but then I yeah. do. We have an apple tree. This is a very expensive apple tree, but we'll get to that. We're gonna share with you how we got this RV park, so by the way. Cool. But that's the first, we're like, all right, first thing. Whoop, bam, apple on an apple tree. What else are we gonna find that we haven't, <laughs> I honestly haven't like, there's so much I gotta learn. Yeah, so. yeah, you guys ready for day one here at the RV park? So right now there's our fifth wheel parked and let's give you a tour of this. Apparently we got two apple trees there, a hot mom. Oh, maybe that's apple trees too. Yeah, what's this one? No way! Wait, do you like these? I had these growing up. What the heck? <laughs> you gonna try it? We like collect those every morning, make yeah. pancakes for our guests, have fresh fruit. There we go. There we go. You wanna try it, Amy? Whoa! This is so cool. This right here. It's a tunnel. Yeah, Amy, what? Escape. Is this a treasure? I don't even know what this is. <gasps> What's in here? Right. Oh, man, that's really heavy. Yeah, but you're really strong. What is it? I literally have no idea what this is. This is fun. Water pressure tank. We're at 40 PSI here in the campground. We might have to pump that up for people. I know some people like it in the 50, 55 range. Something's dripping here. So you're saying if a hurricane I'm comes or a tornado, by tornado, this would be our, like our shelter. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, AB, let's pretend there's a tornado, okay? We're safe now. I'm holding it. We got Maybe our storm we shelter. we should put some like food storage down there just in case. Or the previous owner and his wife, coolest, sweetest couple. The reason why they sold is because it was getting to be too much work. So. So we took it on. Yeah. We want work. <laughs> this is our shop, building, shed, whatever. This is where he used to store an airplane. He was going to sell us his airplane. Someone vetoed that. I honestly haven't looked inside since before we bought it. I don't even know how to open this. <laughs> yeah, the issue is, well, first off, no parking here, anyone, okay? No parking, because it's crazy crowded here in this area. No parking. Um, there's no door to this building. It's, there's just garage doors. Okay. Wow, this looks so different from when he had his like, hanger in here. This yeah, like, his airplane used to be parked right here. This fell off the, the sink handle. I think I can screw it back on, but. You already broke something? So you know. We definitely might need to do some remodeling in here. We're thinking of making this like a big clubhouse area until we build a bigger, better one. I don't want the walls to hear okay, that. Okay, but here's. But. We need you guys to help us because there's actually a lot of. Things. We can do a clubhouse. We can do like an event center slash clubhouse. 
we can do like something with like a big kitchen. So if people want to do like corporate events here, have family reunions, they can come cook food. The, yeah. the options are endless, but we need help deciding. We want to do a, wen a wedding venue on this property, but I don't know about here because currently right now it's just metal siding. Yeah, and, it's going to be pretty. And sure. uh, yeah, so, but we can make this really pretty and rustic. Like, you got the exposed got, ceiling. You got twinkle lights. Yeah. Okay, we got this. And that is why I didn't want the girls there. It was a very interesting ladder. Wait, it doesn't even. Oh, geez. You just literally pull yourself up. Oh, that's why the rope's probably there, too, to help you, like. Oh, my gosh, Brace. Yeah. Not bad. We've got a lot of storage up here. I kind of like the idea of not using this attic for storage at all, but having a really high vaulted ceiling. This is a hanger door. We're gonna take this whole door off and have like big sliding doors or glass doors so it's open. We have structure and concrete. There's a lot we can do here. So here's the hanger and here is the module home. Hey, what's up MTV? Welcome to our crib. We're gonna show you how we uh, live life to the fullest here in Swan Valley. Whoa, geez. It's a nice really... little ramp. That's actually really nice. Start things off. You got the best Western floor mat. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. Well, first off, we'll just, let's just give you the tour. So to start things off, you got a genuine, this actually is, I'm pumped about this. This is really nice. The smell, how would you describe it? Um, it's like your great, great, great aunt's house that she's lived in since she was 10 and she's really old as well. So it's just like an overall smell of oldness. Matted down, memories and memories and memories in this carpet from the, I don't know, what year would you guys say this carpet is? I don't know, but I don't think they make aqua carpet anymore, so. <laughs> but we love this home and the potential that it has, but we just wanna be honest with you because we have big plans, so we wanna show the reality of the situation. We would love it if you booked tomorrow and stay here because we need revenue. Mm -hmm. But we're gonna be changing this place a lot, so we're just gonna tell you how it is. And the ceiling, some previous water damage. Looks like they took care of the leak, but it made its mark. Really classy. Uh... Window curtains. Can we not test that out right now? It's not working. Shoot, it works. Oh my gosh, Christ. So, okay, a few initial things we're thinking here. Ditching the curtains, fixing the windows, changing out the windows. Um, should we keep the 32 inch magnet box? Comment below if we should, guys. We have these, we're gonna take out and do maybe some like, what's it called? Like trendle. a little rit a nook, but that also yeah, has a trundle bed that pulls out maybe? I don't know. Be very nice so your friends can stay here. And we're gonna change the flooring, obviously. Oh my day. heavens. Oh yeah. I'm no! <laughs> no! Just, just dine with me. So, I'm how do you feel? feeling really romantic underneath these yellow lights. And here's the thing, everything's like in pretty good condition, but it's like this could just be tremendously better by doing like the little things. And so now with the kitchen, structurally, it's good. It's pretty good. This, I think this style we're not gonna keep anymore. We're gonna take this out. I think butcher block. I don't know, what do you think? That would look nice, I think. That could look nice. We'll paint these different. Definitely need to paint or get new wallpaper because yeah. yikes. And I don't know, maybe we just leave that here, but. What Bryce isn't telling you is that he just bonked his head on this. Yeah, it made me very angry. This is the current door to the bathroom. No, we're gonna have to put some type of door here for privacy in case you got people in this room, people staying up there. This is not the current bedspread that, or the bedspread that was on it. Here's a picture of the previous quilt. So, who wants to be our first guest here? Is there anyone that wants to stay here now? We're working on the RV park. You can come stay here if you come like now. These are some of our tenants right now. What's up, friends? They're staying here and we got multiple sites. Let's show them this side right here now. You've got trees by you, you have gravel, and you have hookups. That's the premier. And sometimes there's horses right here. They're not there right now. That's true. There are horses in this pasture. But yeah, this one 
50 amp hookup guys what's up the faucets here pretty cool these are the uh frost free ones so and then when you turn it off oh sometimes you can hear it but it sucks the water back down to the ground and the reason it does that is so that it doesn't freeze so when you turn the water off it goes back down below so we can keep this park open longer in the year trying to decide if we're going to winterize it and in order we to do that we will we're just trying to decide when Okay, so we showed you the park section. Now this is the beautiful part. Nels. Me. <laughs> just kidding. This is 25 more acres besides the part we just showed you of RV park. 25 acres. Do you see that flag down there? Did yeah, you can you see that flag? Sock? I don't know if you can see it here. Let's see. Clear down. Yeah, right there. Oh yeah, that's the halfway point. Yeah, halfway that's point. literally halfway. halfway. It's very long because it's actually an airstrip. Yeah. We own an airstrip. <laughs> we're planes land. So if you have a plane, reach out to us because we're trying to decide if we keep the airstrip or if we shut it down. The camping of the airport for 10 miles, we're basically the only airstrip. We have limitless potential, you guys. RV spots, glamping tents, cabins, tiny homes, basketball, doggy sections. We don't have a dog, so I don't know what those are called. Basically, this place is gonna be magical and our opportunities to create here are endless. Guys, we're so excited to finally share this news with you that we finally got it and for the epic adventures that are coming up. If you've been a part of the journey since day one, or even if you haven't, go watch our number, our first video we ever uploaded. The purpose of creating the Jurgis was to inspire others to adventure with their loved ones. Never did we think in that first video that we would oh. one day own an RV park. We thought that we were just gonna go on like weekend trips through Utah and the West Coast. So with that, we're excited to share this with you because we also have plans. There's 12 RV sites right now. We're expanding, so by May 1st, there will be 30 to 40. We'll have glamping sites. We'll have dry camp sites. I'm not sure if we'll have tiny homes up yet by then, but we're gonna get those up as fast as we can. Lots of epic plans, and because you guys are here, because you're here right now, we wanna give you the opportunity to pre-book before anyone else. So you don't have to know your dates, but we'll have a link below this video in the description. If you click on that, you can pre-book and what that does is it gives you a discounted price that you can validate at any point in the next three years. And it's gonna be the first come, first serve. Mm -hmm. Yeah, first. We're, all, we're limiting how many pre-bookings because we need to honor those. Please pre-book, please come do this journey with us. Help us make this place awesome. We want this to be a place that your family wants to come back to next year. Forever. Also, if you don't know if you're gonna make it out here in the next couple of years or so, and you still wanna to donate to the cause of inspiring and helping others to adventure more to loved ones, We'll also have on our website, you can donate to the cause mm -hmm. just to do that. And we'll have a kickback thank you for you as well. So this could all the details. also be a great gift. If you want to pre-book for somebody else and be like, oh, hey, yeah, yeah. we know you wanted to go to Yellowstone. We uh -huh. pre-booked this campsite for you. Uh-huh, yes. And so you don't need to know the dates. You'll get a receipt voucher. All the details will be on the website that you can validate for later. Yeah, this is like yeah. an adventure we're in for long haul. We're giving everything we have for this. We, are, we already have given technically everything, everything. financially yeah. uh -huh. and now we're gonna give more thank you for being we here got this. uh yeah <laughs> it's still we're still a little overwhelmed but excited uh follow along we love you click like and subscribe for this journey because we've got a lot of work we're gonna do we want to include you guys and bring you along so do that and we'll uh see you in the next video when we're doing something with the rv park yeah Peace. hey you you have an rv park I know, you have an RV park. Yeah, we're gonna buy a lot of people. Remember when we were people. like, oh, we got an RV park, and I was like, no, we can't afford an RV park. <laughs> and now we have an RV park.